Good morning, I'm Griff Lewis and this is day three of my Font Rameau Altitude Training Camp vlog. And what a morning it is. Slept pretty good. It's nice and quiet up here and the sound deadening and uh, insulating on the van is working. I'm off to meet a friend at midday. So, um, yeah, let's go to that. Mega! Well, here we are in the Norwegian's house, which is very oh, nice. It's chalet. not a house, it's a chalet. Sorry, We're chalet. We're in France now. <laughs> chalet, they've corrected me more than once. <laughs> Just been for a nice ride and a uh, nice coffee. Obviously, Christian, I did sub seven with and we've kept in touch a little bit. And when I saw he was in Font Rameau, messaged him and he was very welcoming for me to go and ride with him. And then um, Gustav got a bit upset because yeah. he wasn't uh, invited. But we had a, no, thanks guys, I had a really good time yep. and hopefully we can do some more sessions here and uh, thanks for showing me around. Um, Christian, you're off to do the PTO soon? Yes, so I'm leaving tomorrow uh, for the US Open in Milwaukee and I'm coming back again next week. So uh, until then you will have to yeah, do the ride with Gustav but then after then I expect you guys to be in shape yep. so we can push on a little bit uh, for your last week. Okay, so uh, I haven't thought of anything to say in this interview, but what I'm going to say is, Christian, if you could choose one thing that makes Fontenrameau... Kill Mary or... <laughs> <laughs> what? Fontenrameau. Yeah, what is it about this place? It's the mountains, yeah. I think. Like it's, it's a little bit busy now, middle of the summer with uh, more tourist people. Uh, but like in general, like being out on nice roads and also the running in the mountains and yeah, we sort of by ourselves, but also like closer to like some smaller towns where we can sort of feel normal. Good stuff. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. Yeah. So today we rode over on this side of the mountains and it's a bit more flat and then you can have steeper hills to go this way and you can run flat and you can run or ride for six hours a new road so it's a huge amount of uh, variety perfect for triathletes and usually it's nice weather today has been fantastic and the pool is decent so perfect for triathletes it I gotta be careful guys with how much I harass these guys with these videos because they're actually my friends and they said if I do too much videos they're actually gonna kick me off the balcony <laughs> but no in all seriousness guys I don't want to harass you too much with these videos thanks so much for just giving me a bit of your time uh, oh yeah who's your favorite Welsh guy yeah it's the cameraman <laughs> Easy one. it's the voice of uh, Welsh uh, cycling they actually thought I was 25 as well so they want to know what moisturizer I use just, just wait after your second arm and then this video is sponsored by Nivea, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, what happens after your first Ironman? Uh, your... so the first one doesn't gain you too many years, but then after that, it's like three and a half years per Ironman you finished. Yeah. And I've now done four distance, that's like 15 years. I've only done two Ironman, so I only gained three and a half years, but uh, I think if I take this uh, manly beard, it will be better. I mean, uh, yeah, when you've won Kona, I guess you don't need to do as much many, but uh, <laughs> no serious thanks guys. Until next time. Thank you. Oh, out on the second session of the day now, on these awesome trails again. 
I've actually uh, not even paused my watch for this video as 152 beats per minute. I'm uh, climbing. So yeah, I'm walking and the heart rate is still like that high. So good time to do a video. Frequency runs, which is just really short runs because I'm still really new to this game and just need to be careful with uh, getting carried away and yeah basically just getting the body used to running frequently still on these lovely trails bit of a uh, late run but that's all good I'll have my dinner after I've only come down 10 beats since doing this video but what when I come down to about 140, I start running again. So yeah, there we go. Session number two. Bit better tonight. I made some gnocchi with some olive oil dressing, a couple of eggs, and I got some steak hash going, which I'll chop up and mix in. Happy days. So here I am. Uh, 8.39, about to get tucked in, ready for an early night's sleep. It's still a nice evening here on the mountain. But yeah, just a quick recap on today. A good day. Um, really nice to have good company. Obviously it was, um, yeah, a pretty big honour to be in the company of the current Olympic champ and Ironman world champ triathlon um, but I've known Christian for a bit but meeting uh, Gustav today was really nice they're as you can tell just really nice normal people uh, that train extremely hard and yeah were very welcoming to me I'm sure Christian and all I've said I wasn't a too much of a bad bloke and uh, it was nice going into the house and um, I think uh, we'll be doing some more sessions together so um, more to come I think I'll be able to run when they do some easy days but I'm probably going to stick away from them in the swimming pool um, but yeah now on to tomorrow um, nothing planned in terms of guests tomorrow but I'll be making my way to the swimming pool and I think I'm going to change location just so the access is a bit easier for me to those facilities I've found a little spot for the van good night thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button I need some followers. <laughs> Good night.